dear eighth semester students in this session i am going to discuss most important expected questions in the subject estimation and costing which is applicable to electrical and electronics engineering branch so let's discuss important question from module 1 first so i have collected so many questions from the pre previous year question papers based on that i found that many questions are repeated several times so i prepared a checklist so if you go through this question, I'm damn sure that you can get a very good score. So try your level best. However, let's move on to the discussion. Module one is typically a lot of theoretical questions. You may get a lot of theoretical questions rather than numericals. Let's see the first question. Write the necess necessity of estimation and costing. Write the definition. What is the purpose, importance, all the points you have to explain. So it has repeat, it has repeated several times. Second question is, define estimation. What are the factors to be considered while preparing the estimation? So you have to define the estimation. What is estimation? Fine. At least you can write the standard definition, which is available in the textbook. Also, you have to mention the at least three to four points based on the important factors which are considered while doing the estimate. Okay. So these, the, these theory questions don't ignore. Moving on to another question. Explain the sequence to be followed for preparing the estimate of residential wiring. While preparing the residential wiring, what are the steps to be followed? For example, calculation of the total connected load, then cal computation of the cable size. Okay, how to calculate the size of cable? You have to calculate the current rating. Okay, likewise, uh, you have to prepare then selection of conduit, then uh, uh, that the joints are required. Like that, there are a lot of procedures. Kindly go through that. The theory, the textbooks, you can go through that. Question number four, list the factors to be considered while preparing the estimation of an electrical estimation. Already repeated question. Okay, uh, if I talk about the second question, it is another variety. Question number five, what is a specification? What is the purpose of specification and importance? Whenever you are doing a contract work, so you have to give the specification of a material. So why that is required? For example, uh, cables, what are the, how to specify the cable, how to specify the wire. Like that, there are a lot of specifications available. You have to explain the significance. So all questions are theoretical based, theory based questions. So it is not so difficult. You can manage it. Then what is the purpose of estimation and costing? Why it is required? Okay. Then discuss or explain the overhead charges, profit and the contingencies. So what percentage also you have to mention? What is the profit when uh, when the uh, estimate is said to be getting profited? Okay, then uh, contingencies, additional expenses. How you are uh, doing the percentage of uh, total expense, contingencies charges. Similarly, question number eight, write a note on market survey and source selection, purchase system, tender, then electrical schedule, Okay, so these are the theoretical tender, how, how to give the tender, all the points you have to remember. So you can directly uh, go through the textbook and you can read first. So produce the answers by your own sentences. Remember, don't miss the important points. So in the evaluation, uh, the evaluators will check the points which are available in the uh, key and in your answer book. Based on they are going to decide. So be careful while writing. So tender and all, you can give some examples. So tender you might have seen in the newspapers like uh, uh, different uh, companies are given the tenders, tender notice. Then you have to explain about catalog, comparative statement, contingencies, how to calculate the contingencies, all those things. Question number nine, explain the activities of purchase department. What are the duties of purchase department? Okay, how they are going to purchase the materials? What are the procedures? Then mention the different modes of tendering and explain. That you have to mention about uh, various modes of tendering, type of tendering you have to explain. Uh, what do you determine? Uh, uh, how do you determine labor and material cost? Some thumb rules are available for determining the labor cost. The this much of percentage will come comes to the labor cost. So okay, better go for updated one. In the textbooks and all, they have mentioned very outdated information. If you can go for with the updated one, that will be really great. So you have to explain about different rules, IE rule, Indian electricity rule, 29, 30, 50, 51, 77, uh, 79. Syllabus they have mentioned clearly. Check the syllabus and update. 
Question number 13. Explain the following. What do we mean by overhead charge and what is profit? Okay, explain uh, in, in the, with respect to estimation. So profit, you can generally, you can write the definition, but uh, try to correlate with the, uh, your estimation. Another one is actually explain the following. What is catalog and purchase system? Then write a, uh, write any four uh, in their electricity rule, IE rule. You can go for any number, 29, 30, like, like this, you can go for any one, but uh, select the four appropriate one. State the important factors which are uh, which an estimator should know for preparing the internal wiring estimation. Suppose a wiring has to be carried out, what are the checklists they are supposed to prepare? So theoretically, you can explain. Uh, if you can uh, explain with the help of a small plan, that is really appreciable. So these are the important questions from uh, module one, which I found through various question papers. In the module two, it's basically a lot of uh, numerical example can be expected. Okay, uh, so there is a diagram. So based on this particular one diagram, one plan, one plan is given. Based on the plan, you need to estimate. You have to pre pre prepare the electrical estimate. So step step by step, you have to uh, cal calculate. Okay, uh, uh, requirement of what is the total connected load, uh, then requirement of uh, that uh, wires. Like that, there are various steps. Please go through that. So this is another type of question. Uh, you can expect it. It will be lengthier. You will be getting 12 marks. So in that, uh, mention all the step. Okay. Mention the thumb rule also. Some uh, adjustment you can do that because we cannot follow up everything accurately, but uh, something can be uh, assumed. So you have to mention the assumption very clearly in your answer book. Otherwise, uh, evaluator may not understand. Uh, if any missing data are available, uh, if, if there are missing data, you can assume suitably. Similarly, uh, this is another variety uh, which is also having the weightage of 12 marks repeated in the year of 2015. Okay, same procedure you have to go ahead. Something can be assumed. Apply the IE rule also. Then theoretical part. Write the specification and application of pipe and plate earthing. Diagram is mandatory. Diagram. Draw one diagram and uh, prepare the checklist like uh, um, uh, list of material specification quantities required prepare a table explain with the help of a table that is that is that will carry more weightage what are the factors to be considered selecting the wiring system okay anyway current rating is mandatory you have to explain about current rating there will be one table also okay don't know whether they will allow for the table earlier they used to allow the table one table uh, like a class table will be available but right now i don't know uh, university is permitted for uh, bringing the tables. When we were studying, we have we used to have one table based on that we will be estimating the current rating all the parameters. Name and explain the various types of wiring system. Conduit wiring, uh, caping and casing wiring, cleat wiring. With help of neat diagrams, you have to explain. Then uh, conduit wiring, you have to uh, divide two types. Okay, surface conduit wiring and concealed wiring. Elaborate with the help of the, uh, uh, with the help of suitable diagrams and valuable points. Then uh, question number seven, what is the need of earthing in the electrical installation? Okay, just for the personal safety, uh, mention the advantages of earthing. What are the uh, general rules to be followed for internal wirings? Explain the properties of different cables used in the domestic wiring, PVC cable, vulcanized Indian rubber. Likewise, you prepare a checklist and explain with the specification, temperature, withstanding capacity, and a dielectric strength. If you talk about a cable, you have to mention about dielectric strength. Okay, based on that, you need to choose the insulation. Explain different type of fuses. Okay, uh, define fusing factor. That is also another type of uh, theor theoretical question. Uh, fusing factor is very, very important. I, I have seen that uh, several times it is repeated. It has repeated several more times. So it may ask in the future examination also. Uh, write a note on voltage grading and the specification of cable. Voltage grading is important while selecting the cable. There are different standards available. If you can draw a table with a specification, that will be really great. Draw and explain the general block diagram of domestic wiring system. Okay, uh, distribution, uh, you have to mention the distribution board and the fuses. All the, uh, some one simple diagram is given in the textbook. If you can directly remember that particular block diagram, that will be very easier. List out the accessories used in the domestic wiring. Prepare a table, uh, serial number, specification, uh, then quantities required, the rating, how much quantities required, if you if you have chosen an example. Write a short note on conduit wiring. Okay, uh, conduit wirings are normally employed in the buildings. Uh, it is so attractive. So wires, uh, the wires will be 
uh, pass through the particular conduit. There are two types of conduit wiring, surface conduit and uh, concealed wiring. Then uh, PVC caping and uh, ca casing and caping. So casing and caping is a projected type of wiring which is used in the uh, domestic building and uh, cable will be passed through the casing and there will be an opening that is called a caping. You have to specify with the help of some diagrams. If you can draw the diagram, that will be really useful. Uh, that will be really helpful for the evaluators and uh, they can you will be getting that, uh, good marks. List the general rules guidelines for residential uh, installation. You can follow the electric IE rules. Uh, so these kind of problems are very important. Diagram is not that much clear, but uh, whenever you are take, uh, getting the question paper, no, you will be getting uh, very clear uh, diagrams. In case anything is missed, kindly assume uh, anything wrong in that. Describe the various types of cables or wires used in the internal wiring for mass question. Explain with the points. So another type of problematic question, one layout is given, plan is given. Based on that, you have to estimate to do the costing. Costing, you can go for our updated one. Textbooks and all, it is too outdated. Uh, better go for updated information. Uh, that is acceptable. Then uh, another type of uh, question, it is it is carrying 14 marks. Okay, very You'll be getting a uh, very uh, huge credit if you solve the uh, particular problem appropriately. Uh, while calculating the load, everything, be careful. So do the calculation appropriately and uh, these kind of questions can be expected. So these are the important questions you can uh, observe from module two. Now uh, we'll move on to module three. Okay, so let me make the another session for module three because the video is getting more lengthy. So these are the important questions from module uh, one and two. So kindly go through that question appropriately. Definitely uh, you'll be getting a uh, good idea and kindly refer the textbooks and you can uh, point out. These are the important questions which I referred various university question paper and made out. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you are having any questions. Thank you.